Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and I have another fun Halloween card to share with you today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's mini tag dies one, um, our Halloween treats two, gnome dies spooky add-ons, girl gnome dies, along with the snow globe die, and the large Halloween treat stamp set. I'm using P13 stamping pad skin tones, floral graph paper from Doodlebug, along with Monster Madness 12 inch line from Doodlebug. And I put that together on the spooky add-ons assembly video, so check that out. Okay, so first of all, I have an A2 size card base made from Paper Tray Ink White Cardstock 4.25 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. I've got a piece of that um, scrapbooking.com mint tape across the fold. And I'm going to do some stamping with my Misty with that large sentiment. So I'm using speckled egg because it kind of goes with my paper that I'm using. And I'm going to stamp this trick or treat in Distress Oxide ink all over the back of this A2 size card front. So this is just, you know, multiple stampings, you know, moving the stamp around. And while I'm doing this, I'll talk about other things. So I did assemble that gnome die um, in the little pumpkin and the little spooky ghost balloon during the Gnome Dies Spooky Add-ons assembly video. So you can always check that out. Everything that I use is always listed on my blog, including for that die set. So, you know, check out my blog and you can have a full recipe of everything that I use. That is a little acetate sheet from, um, from Simon Says Stamp. And I use that when I'm lining up um, stamps just so I don't get ink on my background. And like I said, this is just repetitive, moving the stamp around, see where it fits, and then re-stamping that trick-or-treat. So I'm just sort of making my own pattern paper for the background. Now you could easily use pattern paper, or you could use one of uh, Jada Blossom's stencil sets. That would be cute, but I thought I'm going to use this big stamp set. I thought that would be fun. So just quick stamping. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Empress um, Mini. And you know, it's an awesome machine. I love my Gemini just as much, just as much, it's just bigger. I also have a Gemini Go, which is really tiny, smaller than the Empress Mini. So, you know, it's handy when I'm going to a crop, but it only cuts like things that are three inches wide. So that's why I really do like the Empress uh, because it gives you a little bit more versatility for a mini machine. Okay, so you'll see that I'm turning my Misty. However, it makes it easier to stamp this sentiment. Uh, you'll see that I do have a waffle flower grip mat in my Misty, and I find that I'm liking that. It's holding what I'm stamping on well, easy to clean up, and um, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. It's working quite well for me. I try things like new things all the time, but I have to say this waffle flower grip mat is kind of uh, turning my crank lately. I quite like it. So there we go. I'm working on my Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. There we are, and that's about it. Like just a quick little background, right? And I'm going to stamp, this is where I make my boo-boo. I should have put more layers of that um, mint tape because there's some leakage. I'm just trying to, you know, stamp right up to that score line. But you know, mistakes we make, it's just life. So I'm going to, pe I peeled off the back of that little, um, you know, of that mint tape. I'm just cleaning up with my Lawn Fawn little stamp towel or whatever, whatever they're called, stamp, stamping foam or whatever it is. It's awesome. I love that little cleaner. Now this little piece of paper is from Doodlebug's Monster Madness 12 inch pad. And I cut that out with the snow globe dies. And I use that little um, ring snow globe die. So it's the relief cut in the center that I'm using. Now this is the same paper, but on the other side, the same as that I used for the hat. And I cut that out at one and a quarter inches and just shy of four and a quarter inches wide. And I'm just laying that down in the inside of my card. I'm pulling out a cute little uh, ephemera piece from the sweet and spooky odds and ends. It's kind of like a teal pumpkin, which I thought went perfectly. I'll glue that down with some barely art glue. And then I'm going to do some stamping on the inside. I'm using that stamp set Halloween Treats 2. And I'm using that same acetate seat sheet once I cleaned it up just to line up um, a stamp set that I actually cut apart. Remember, you can cut stamp sets. Now this says ha have a fun-sized Halloween. 
and I stamp that in VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Remember that if you cut your stamp up, you can put it back together and stamp it the way it's meant to be. You know, just be careful when you're doing that cutting. Okay, so there we go. You'll see that there's a little bit of dye or distress oxide ink on the back of that card. It doesn't bother me all that much. So now I am lining up these two die cuts. I cut that from the Mini Tag Dies 1 in purple paper from that Monster Madness 12 inch um, doodle bug line and white paper train cardstock. Now the interior hexagon, I'm going to stamp the Boo sentiment um, from Jada Blossom's Halloween Treat Stamps 2. And that's, like I said, paper train white cardstock again. And I'm just going to stamp and versifying Claire here and have a cute little sentiment for the front of my card. So there we go, I had a couple of, stamped it a couple of times to get a great image. Remember, don't press too hard. And now I'm going to stick that sentiment onto my scalloped background piece. And isn't that cute, a cute little boo? And I do weight it down. Okay, so now I'm going to assemble my card. I'm going to stick down this circle. Like I said, the relief cut from that snow globe ring kind of die. It's sort of the outline of the snow globe. I'm using the interior piece. And I'm just lining that up on this, you know, top center of my card. I do weight it down. Now I will stick down this adorable die cut image from the gnome dies or girl gnome dies and the gnome dies spooky add-ons. I'll stick that down to my card with my barely art glue. And I do weight it down with some acrylic blocks. And I'm going to pop up this cute little ghosty balloon with some um, 3M foam tape. And I will glue the string down where the hand is. I do have the hand popped up, but you know. So her face and her hands are cut from P13 Snapping Pad Skin Tones. Her little dress and her bows are cut from Doodlebug's Floral Graph Paper in Yellow. There we go. The little pumpkin is cut from um, Doodlebug's Orange Pumpkin cardstock. The little stem is dark chocolate cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then there's white and black cardstock from Paper Tray Ink on this. So cute, cute stuff. And now I am popping up that boo using reverse tweezers just to get my fingers out of the way and get it lined up. Isn't that cute? I just think it's a super sweet look. Now I am going to um, do, you know, add a few more things to the front of this card in a second here. I just think that she is adorable just the way she is, right? Isn't she cute? You could leave it like this. But now I'm going to pull out Alta News Essential Black and White enamel dots and I'm going to use the black ones and I'm using my pen blade to pick them up off the acetate sheet and I'm going to add five of them three in the upper left corner and two in the lower right corner there we go oh I also used my we are memory keepers corner chomper and rounded the upper left and the lower right corner um, the half inch size. Now these are kindred stamps, little ghosties. I don't even know if you can get these anymore, but there are other ghost shakers out there that work just as well, little clay bits. And I'm just going to add three little ghosties to my background in a visual triangle. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And remember, there's a full recipe on my blog. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.